In today's video, we're going to check out the top 5 best tripods in 2019. I made this list based on my personal opinion and I'll try to list them based on their price, quality, durability and more. To find out more information about these tripods, you can check out the description below. If you'd like to win one of these products, make sure you watch the whole video, click the like button and comment the hidden word found in this video. At number 5, it's the KNF TM2324. If you're in the market for a budget tripod, you can find lots of options that are not of a high quality. However, I found the KNF TM2324 a great budget tripod that's compact and lightweight so you can carry it on your trips regardless of whether you're hiking or on a train or on a plane. It's very easy to use and has all the features that you may want from a budget tripod. This tripod comes in an attractive heavy-duty black canvas carrying bag that has great zippers, padded handle and a shoulder strap. You'll really appreciate the quality of the bag. Inside it, you'll find the tripod and the ball head that was in a black velvet back for protection. Great attention to detail by K&F. The total weight of the tripod was just 2.5 pounds, one of the lightest options on the market. To achieve this weight, the K&F TM2324 has more plastic in its chassis, especially in the leg locks, which are snap locks, contrary to the more common dial locks. The snap locks are generally easier and quicker to use in comparison to dial locks. The KNF TM2324 tripod is a four-section tripod, and because of that, it folds larger than its counterparts with more sections. However, those have the added weight. Fully extended, this tripod achieves a length of 62 inches, and there's a spring-loaded hook on the bottom of the center column to allow you to hang a steadying weight when the tripod is fully extended or on uneven surfaces. On top of that, the center column can also be reversed, so you can mount the camera upside down to get the macro shots that you crave. I found the ball head extremely stable and strong for its size as it locks down securely and confidently. It has a single bubble level and it's an Arca Swiss style ball head, meaning that it'll accept all Arca Swiss plates. It can rotate 360 degrees and feels solid while in the process. Throughout testing, I found the tripod very stable and a good companion. For its budget price, it offers so much more. At number 4 is the Benro Aero 2. The Benro Aero 2 is one of the best travel tripods that are great for video shooting. It has almost all the features that are present in a heavy-duty video tripod, but it has a lighter weight and a slimmer chassis that will help you to carry it around on your trips and projects. It has all the features that you'll need from a good video tripod, such as a smooth video head, decent pan and tilt dials, a spirit level that allow you to level your camera appropriately, and many more features that will take your video shooting to the next level. It achieves great portability thanks to a feature that is apparent in most premium photo tripods. The legs of the tripod fold up against the body so you can extend the center column. It measures just 18.3 inches while folded and weighs just 4.1 pounds. Also, the device can support a weight of more than 5 pounds. Fully extended, the Benro Aero 2 reaches a height of just over 50 inches and I like the rubber foot on the tripod's legs that then screw to uncover a metal spike that can be used for further stability on uneven or muddy terrain. Furthermore, the legs of the Benro Aero 2 are fully independent of each other and with three locking points that will provide you maximum flexibility while you're seeking the best position. When you combine the aforementioned features with the leveling head and the double level, allow you to instantly create a level and stable platform from which you can effectively use the pan and tilt features. The head is removable, so if you wish to upgrade to a different model that suits your preferences, you can easily do so. The S2C head on the Benro Aero 2 proved to be very smooth and fluid overall, regardless of whether you're panning or tilting. Interestingly enough, you can unscrew one of the legs and the center column, then attach them together for an extra long monopod or a selfie stick. Overall, I think that the Benro Aero 2 is a great compact and lightweight video tripod that's extremely stable and durable and provides smooth footage. At number 3, it's the Manfrotto 055. If you're a landscape photographer or an aspiring one, you're always in search for a durable tripod that'll take a beating through your countless trips and will still be at your side for years to come. Thanks to Manfrotto, we have a viable solution. The Manfrotto 055 with its carbon fiber body and its X-Pro ball head is lightweight, compact and has a maximum height that reaches just above eye level. It's simply fantastic. You can understand its sturdiness and lightweight just by reading the carbon fiber in the spec sheet. Despite its height and size, it weighs just 4.6 pounds and it's the toughest one you'll meet. 
You'll see during shooting that even in strong winds, the tripod will hold on steady with tons of security and stability, and you'll recognize when you see the shots that there's no sign of instability. You'll see that the carbon fiber legs will not get as cold as metal ones during winter, which adds to the comfort, thanks to the lower heat conduction of the material. The knobs on the tripod can be very easily tightened and loosened with small movements. All you have to do is twist them and you're ready to go. The clasps that hold the legs are very durable and strong and they have a design that you can easily use even with thick winter gloves on. With a maximum height of 170 centimeters, the Manfrotto 055 is definitely in another class compared to its similarly priced counterparts. Along with the two spirit levels that are apparent on the X-Pro ball head, the spirit level on the tripod will make sure you see a level at any time you wish without changing your position. Despite achieving such heights at maximum, the Manfrotto 055 folds up quite compactly and will prove to be very handy throughout your trips, as it'll fit into most carry-on luggage or bags. I'd also like to mention that the look of this tripod is really pleasing and it doesn't look utilitarian as most tripods do. Manfrotto designers have done an excellent job. At number two, it's the Mifoto Globetrotter. The Mifoto Globetrotter, as the name implies, is targeted for the frequent traveler, and it's designed for that purpose. Size and weight checks in. The Mifoto Globetrotter is capable of supporting a wide range of equipment, so you don't have to worry if your various cameras will be supported by the same tripod. Thanks to its carbon fiber body, it's also very durable and can take a beating, and on top of that, it still maintains a competitive price. The complete package weighs just 3.7 pounds and can carry about 26 pounds at maximum. And when fully folded, the device has a length of just 16.1 inches. I'd also like to state that this tripod is very well made, so don't get confused because its price would suggest otherwise. The legs of the tripod have tons of features and are pretty secure. The locking mechanisms use twist locks with rubberized grips and complete the task to perfection. The body of the legs is made of carbon fiber, but its joints are built with aluminium. For the very cold days, one of the legs has a foam padding to hold on to, but even without it, the Mifoto Globetrotter doesn't get uncomfortably cold due to its carbon fiber body. There are only two options when it comes to choosing a locking angle for the legs. You either choose the standard 30 degrees or the larger 60 degree angle for a more wide and stable stance. It has also surprised me with its performance in windy scenarios as it was very stable. And also worth mentioning, you can get it pretty low for ground shooting and for macros. The Mifoto Globetrotter's ball head is an Acra Swiss style quick release plate. It has a built in bubble level, but you have to align the level first before sliding the camera in because the camera will hide the level. The locking mechanisms on the ball head are standard rotary dials. There are three in total, one is used for lateral rotation and the other two for locking the ball in place. To wrap it up, I want to say that this is an excellent all-round tripod with a low price and amazing quality. And at number one, it's the Vanguard Ultra Pro. The Vanguard Ultra Pro is an amazing tripod that's better suited for the studio photographer. It has the sturdiest build quality, tons of angle options and interesting features that will make your studio shooting life much easier. It wouldn't be the perfect tripod for traveling because of its size, but if you're not worried about that, you can take the Vanguard Ultra Pro for your landscape shootings. Design-wise, this tripod sports a mostly black build with metallic silver accents and some bright orange touches here and there. Interestingly enough, the Vanguard Ultra Pro has a professional and sporty look at the same time and will fit in at various settings. Each of the legs is 0.5 inches thick and are 22 inches long when folded. The center column features a hexagonal shape. All of the legs have an aluminium build coated in a matte black brushed color that looks fantastic. There are tons of controls or switches and knobs on the Vanguard Ultra Pro and they have a little learning curve on them as you'll have to put the effort in to grasp the concepts behind them. The top plate pops very easily in and out with a spring-loaded button that was very convenient and there you'll also find the two levels that allow you to line perfectly straight shots. It's worth mentioning that the SPH 100 ball head was the smoothest that I've ever seen on a tripod. The center column is extendable up to 68 inches and can even pivot up to 180 degrees for slanted angles and the legs of the tripod can extend up to 56 inches and support three locking angles which consist of 25, 50 and 80 degrees. As expected from Vanguard, a brand that sells photography accessories and lifestyle hiking and hunting accessories, I'm not surprised by the insane build quality of the Vanguard Ultra Pro. The durability and quality are mostly due to the aluminium alloy of the construction and the die-cast magnesium alloy in the joints and the components. I can comfortably say that the Vanguard Ultra Pro is a tripod that you'll rely on. Vanguard quality is apparent in every corner 
this is a top class product. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you found it helpful, please remember to leave a like and subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this in the future. If you have any questions related to these products, you can leave a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can.